the more quiet you are, the more upset these people get. They know that you know they're watching. But the simple fact that you don't even care makes them more upset. Let me tell you something, Charles Munts. We know that people watching us. But we can care less because every time they turn around, the Lord just keep on blessing us. Every time they look up with their binoculars, just to see if you fell on your face, guess what? You just keep on winning. And every time they see you elevating, every time they see you prospering, every time they see you climbing that ladder of success, they get more and more and more infuriated because guess what? They can't really figure you out anymore. Understand what I'm saying? See, there was a point in time in your life, chosen ones, where you were vulnerable, you were gullible, trusting everybody with your information, thinking everybody gonna be there for you. Coming to find out these people were using your information that you were giving them, they were using it against you. Spreading rumors and lies about you, knowing it wasn't even true. Understand what I'm saying? The me you told somebody your next move, they would shoot it down in a heartbeat because you know why? They not making no moves out here. You got to realize, guess what, chosen ones? Your next move is your big move. There is a blessing in the movement. There is a blessing in the departure. You got to realize that the blessing is not going to be activated until you finally leave. The blessing is not about to be activated in your life until you start keeping everything to yourself. Let me tell you something. What people don't know, they can't fuck up. Let me repeat that. I said what people do not know about you, chosen ones, they can't ruin. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verses 14, it says the wise don't even tell everything that they know. But the foolish talks entirely too much and is ruined every single time. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. Every time you tell somebody about what God is doing for you, every time you tell somebody of what you're actually going through, guess what? You're giving the devil more room to destroy that good thing that God is getting ready to do for you. But the minute you become humble, the minute you begin to not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, I promise you, God will soon begin to bless you. These people will never be happy for you, chosen ones. These people will never clap for you. These people will never push you towards greatness. Keep your next move to yourself because God is getting ready to do a new thing in you this year. Keep your next move to yourself because God is getting ready to do a great work in you, chosen ones. People love to see you fall. They love to see you struggle. People love to know about your business. Amen. But guess what? They will not tell you about their business. Haven't you noticed that? You around here telling everybody what God is doing for you, but they're not telling you what God is doing for them. Understand what I'm saying? And you got to realize, chosen ones, in this season that guess what? In order for God to continue to plant your feet on higher ground, guess what? You got to leave these people at the lower ground. You got to leave these people behind you. You got to leave everybody that you think is for you. Guess what? You got to leave them back in the dust. You can't go back to these people, man. Because people are waiting for you to open up your mouth. They are waiting for you to spill the beans. They are waiting for you to tell everything that God is doing for you. So, they, so guess what? They can pray on your downfall. But no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper because it will not work in the name of Jesus. The Bible says to be quick to hear but slow to speak. And the more humble you become, the more quiet you are. I promise you, you are getting on these karmic's last nerves right now. You got these people in their feelings right now because guess what? They can't figure you out. And I just want to let you know that I am so proud of you, chosen ones. Because guess what? I'm in this thing with you. Let me tell you something, man. Once I realize... That people are going to do nothing but shoot my dreams down. Guess what I begin to do, chosen ones? I begin to keep my mouth closed. 
I'm talking about you looking at a brother that was telling everybody what God was doing for for me. I was telling everybody how God was making ways for me. But guess what? None of these people was really happy for me like that. These people were smiling in my face. But guess what? They was talking about me behind my back. I thought I can trust people. Listen, I thought I can tell people about my struggle. I thought I can tell people about my problems. But guess what? Guess what I found out? People will use your problems, your own problems against you. People will spread rumors about you knowing that's not even true. They will spread rumors and lies about you so they can see you be destroyed. People don't want to see you get this breakthrough. They don't want to see you get to the next level. They don't want to see you, a man, get to that final destination because guess what? You got it in you, baby. So God says, since you got greatness on the inside of you, God said, guess what? I need you to keep these good news on the inside of you. I need you to keep that, that next big move. God said, I need you to keep that next big move on the inside of you. God said, hold it within your heart because guess what? It's getting ready to come to pass, baby. God said, you know, God tell everybody that I'm blessing you right now. God said that blessing is just for you. That blessing is not for them. God said, aren't you tired of people praying on your downfall? Aren't you tired of people telling you what you can't do? Aren't you tired of people, amen, trying to ruin everything that me and you have built? Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You have built this table. You have built your own table. You have built, amen, your own vision brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let anybody try to ruin it and tear it down. Let me tell you something. You have built this house brick by brick. You have built your vision brick by brick. And you think these people are going to be happy for you because guess what? God is preparing a table for you. You think these people are going to be happy for you? You done built your vision brick by brick. I'm telling you what you're doing right now, Chosen. You winning, you elevating, you succeeding, and you did it by yourself. You think these people are going to be happy for you? Your own family don't give a damn about you because guess what? It's you the one that's winning. You the one that's breaking generational curses. Let these karmics watch you. Let these naysayers watch you. Because every time they watch you, guess what? They got to watch you win this year. That's going to be their punishment this year. Since they want to watch you, guess what? They got to watch you win. And you best believe, guess what, chosen ones? They know without a shadow of a doubt that you know that they're watching. They know. And that's why it's an awkward silence when you come into their presence. They're not saying nothing to you and you ain't saying nothing to them. Because number one, they know you winning. They don't have nothing to say to you. Number two, they know that God is planting your feet on higher ground. They know that they can't even be able to reach you. You so high right now. But the minute you open your mouth, the minute you start telling everybody your next move, I'm telling you, you ain't doing nothing but making more room for the devil to pull you all the way back down to where you used to be. But I'm here to tell you right now that no weapon that is formed against you or your next big move shall be able to prosper. You're going to prosper. God's plans for you is to prosper and to have an expected end. God's plans for you is to have a hope and a future. And you got to realize that half of these people that's using the information against you, guess what? They can't go to where God is getting ready to take you. So that's the real reason why they spread in rumors and lies about you right now they telling all your business to everybody because you know why they thinking that by telling everybody about your business that these rumors and these lies is going to destroy you but they fail to realize you belong to the most high god they fail to realize of who you get your blessings from. They fail to realize of who you get your anointing from. They fail to realize of who you get this glow up from. You get it from the Lord Jesus Christ. And every time you come into their presence, guess what you're doing? You ain't saying a mumbling word. Think about Jesus. When people were saying, crucify him, crucify him. You're not the king of the Jews. Jesus never said a mumbling word. And the more humble Jesus was, the more upset these people was getting. Pay attention. 
Take some time out and watch the passion of the Christ. The more of these people, amen, were saying crucify Jesus, crucify him. Guess what? The more humble Jesus became because Jesus already knew I'm getting ready to be the son of God. Jesus already knew within it, within his mind, his heart, and his spirit, I'm getting ready to rise on the third day and they not even knowing. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You getting ready to climb that ladder of success and they not even knowing. Understand what I'm saying? This is the most beautiful thing about people not knowing about you because guess what? They can't ruin it. Let them get upset. Let them get mad. Let them get in their feelings. But guess what? At least they can't ruin it. At least they can't destroy it. Understand what I'm saying? So you got to realize in this season, chosen ones, I don't give a damn who in they feelings. Let me tell you something. Was nobody there for you when you was going through the struggle? Was nobody there for you, amen, when you was going through all that pain? Was nobody there for you, amen, when you was out here losing? But the minute you start winning, guess what? They expect you to tell, tell them that you're winning right now. They expect you to tell them the good news, knowing God darn well, these are the same people that was praying on your downfall. So I'm going to tell you right now, chosen ones, you stay humble. Hold your peace and let the Lord fight your fight your battles. And I promise you, victory shall be yours right now. Think about Jesus. He was so humble. Jesus was harmless as a dove. But guess what? He was so wise as a serpent. And if we go back to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 14, it says it in the, in the book. The wise don't even tell everything that they know. So could you imagine Jesus if he would have told them that I'm getting ready to rise on the third day with all power in my hands? Could you imagine if Jesus actually spilled the beans and told these people, hey man, that he's getting ready to be the kings of kings. He getting ready to be the lords of lords. Could you imagine what would have really happened? If Jesus would have told these karmics all of his plans that he had backed up and stored, amen, in the kingdom of heaven, could you imagine what these people would have done? They would have really ruined the, Jesus becoming the son of God. But Jesus said, I am here for a greater cause. Jesus said, I am here for a purpose. I am here for a reason. I am healed. I am here to save the sin sick soul. I am, he I am here to heal the wounded. I am heal here to heal the broken hearted. God said, I knew what I came to do, baby. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You got to know what you have been sent here to do. And that's not telling everybody your next move. You got to know what, why God sent you here and what he sent you here to do. And that was to draw more men into him. Stop explaining yourself to people. Stop telling everybody your next move. Stop telling everybody what God is doing for you because guess what? God is blessing you. He not blessing them like he blessing you. God is opening up the windows of heaven and he's pouring out blessings room enough to where you can receive it. And you got to believe that everybody is not going to be happy for these blessings that God is bestowing upon your life. Everybody not going to congratulate you, chosen ones, because you are blessed coming in. You are blessed coming out. But they feel to realize every time they watch you, you're going to just keep on winning. Every time they game stalk you, you're going to just keep on winning. Every time, amen, they trying to watch you and try to figure you out. Guess what? God going to just allow you to continue to, to, to move differently. Let me tell you something. You got to resist the devil because you know why? You know they're watching you. You got to move in silence because guess what? You know they watching you. You got to move discreetly because you already know that these people are plotting and planning for you to fall. But I mean to tell you right now that eyes have not seen nor ears haven't heard the plans that God has in store for you. And I promise you, if you don't tell nobody your next move, I promise you, you getting ready to make it to that final destination. You getting ready to make it to that promised land. You getting ready to make it, amen, to that, to that place where God has prepared for you. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. Continue to remain humble in this season and watch God perform this miracle for you. Continue to remain humble in this season and watch God perform the breakthrough for you. You got to remain ye steadfast. You got to remain unmovable. You got to always abide in the work of God. And watch the Lord come through for you. So I'm here to tell you right now, what people do not know, they cannot ruin chosen ones. So I'm here to tell you right now, continue to keep your next move silently.
Continue to keep your next move silently. Continue to keep your next move privately. Because you winning. And one of the best decisions I ever made in my life, children, was to learn how to keep my mouth closed when God is performing the miracle for me. Because the minute you open up your mouth, amen, and start telling people what God is getting ready to do for you, guess what? You already ruined it yourself. Wait till God perform the miracle for you. Wait till God give you that breakthrough. Wait till God start really blessing you like that before you start opening up your mouth. And when you open up your mouth, start telling winners what God is doing for you. Because as long as you keep telling these losers out here who is not on your level, guess what? It's going to sound like you bragging to these people, man. Get around some winners. Get around some, some prayer warriors. Get around some people who really love the Lord. Get around some people, amen, who going to pray for you, amen. Get around some people who not going to pray on your downfall, but they're going to pray for your uprising. Get around some people, amen, that see the God in you. Get around some people, amen, that, 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 that really want to see you be the best version of yourself. Get around some people, amen, that's not going to hate on you the minute you tell them your big move. Get around some people, amen, that want to go into this next journey with you, that want to do that, that want to, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that want to get that, that big blessing with you. You need to get around some people, amen, that's on the same page as you. Because let me tell you something, you telling the wrong people. You telling the wrong people about your big move. And you got to realize the more you tell the wrong people about your big move, guess what? They ain't making no moves themselves. So guess what? They're going to try to stop your movement. Listen to me, the more you keep telling people about your big moves, knowing they're not making no big moves, they're going to try to stop your movement. And you're not even knowing the blessing is in the movement. The blessing is in the departure. The blessing is not going to be activated, chosen ones. It's not going to be activated. You know why? Because you keep telling everybody that's praying on your downfall. You got to leave these people where they at. You got to leave your foes on their 10 toes. Keep your enemies guessing. You got to stay mysterious out here. Stop letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Because you on your way to the next level. And what God got for you is only going to be for you. When God bless you, he blessed you. When God plant your feet on higher ground, he plant your feet on higher ground. We know they watching. We know these karmics is game stalking. We know they plotting and they planning, but let me tell you something. The more humble you are, guess what? They don't know what to plan on. They don't know what to plot on. They don't know what to, to pray on your downfall on. Because guess what? You are humble. You are silent. You are harmless as a dove. You're wise as a serpent. You're using your head now. You finally using your brain now. You finally using the spirit of the discernment that God has given you. And I'm going to tell you right now, look where God has brought you from, baby. You ain't got to explain yourself. You ain't got to make a broadcast announcement to the whole world. You just have to look back and see where God has brought you from, baby. And just know one thing, chosen ones. What people do not know, guess what? They can't ruin. You can get mad all you want. You can go cry when you get in the car. Oh, they going to cry when they get in the car because guess what? They can't figure you out. You got people I'm talking about, man. When they come into your presence, man, they are silent as a mouse. You got people in their feelings right now because guess what? They don't got nothing to talk about. They don't got nothing to gossip about. They ain't got nothing to lie about because guess what? You have finally kept your mouth closed. You seen people was moving shady. You seen people start stealing from you. You seen, seen people start hating on you. You seen people starting to betray your trust. You said, you know what? I'm sick of these people. I'm just getting ready to keep my next move to myself. Because when you realize, guess what? You will never pray on your own downfall. You will never, ever, ever Ever in life, amen, pray on your own downfall. And, and once you start realizing that, guess what? You would never pray on your own downfall. Guess what? You have to start realizing that, guess what? These people were no longer good for you in the first place, man. And you wonder why you feel stagnant. 
You wonder why you feel like you can't get to the next level because you don't open up your mouth too soon to the wrong people. People are so evil. People are so wicked. You, you, you'd be surprised of these false idols people are worshiping. And here it is, you telling everybody what God is doing for you. Here it is, you telling everybody your big move and you're not even knowing. Guess what? They over here worshiping, worshiping this Buddha statue. They over here burning sage. These people over here, guess what? They got they got these old, old, old dream, you know what I'm saying? These dream chasing masks in their houses and stuff like that. Let me tell you what's going on, chosen ones. You don't even know what's going on. You don't even know what's going on. But guess what? You opening up your mouth entirely too much to these people. And little do you know, chosen ones, why you guys trying to bash me? Why you guys trying to say, man, get them dream chases out of your house. Get them, them, them masks and them clown masks out of your house. You, you, you got nothing but dream chases on your wall. You fella realize, guess what, baby? I don't even live there. See, why you guys trying to bash me? Why you guys trying to ridicule me and criticize me? Tell me I got dream chases all on my wall. You don't even know what I'm going through right now. You don't even know. Them are not my dream chasers. You don't even know. I worship the Lord God and only the, the Lord God I worship. You don't, you don't even know, baby. That's somebody else's dream chasers on the wall. And I was wondering why I could never get to the next level of my life. I was wondering why, hey man, why, why my big move ain't coming so soon? Because guess what? I'm hanging around the wrong people. I'm, I'm around the wrong environments. Let me tell you something. I keep trying to tell you there is a blessing in the departure. And the minute I decided to leave from this person, the minute I decided to leave from that house, guess what? God start blessing me. Sometimes the blessing is in the departure, chosen ones. Sometimes the blessing is in you not telling your next move. Sometimes the blessing is you keeping your mouth closed. And guess what? That's when God will, will soon begin to activate the blessings for you. But the minute you start telling everybody how God is blessing you, they getting ready to shoot it down. They getting ready to pray your downfall. They getting ready to tell you what you can't do. But no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. You look that devil in his eyes and say, I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength. Don't you be afraid to put a comment below and say, hey, you can't stop me now. Don't you be afraid to put a comment below and say, hey, you can't ruin me now. Because guess what? I'm harmless as a dove. I'm wise as a serpent. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. The more humble you are, the more people are going to be upset with you. Let them be big mad at you, baby. You on your way to the promised land. Let they ass watch you. They got to watch you from the balcony. Understand what I'm saying? And the fact that you don't even care, it just makes these people more big mad. It makes these people more infuriated. It makes these people more agitated. What I'm going to tell you right now, they throwing tension temperatures because they can't even figure your ass out right now. I'm proud of you, chosen ones. Keep your next move to yourself. Keep your breakthrough to yourself because God is the only one that came through for you. Keep your vision to yourself because guess what? You don't build this vision brick by brick. And we be damned to let any Decepticon ruin our house. We be damned to let any Decepticon blow our house down. You done built this vision brick by brick. I'm mean, going to tell you when you was putting this house together, when you was building your vision together brick by brick, was none of these haters around you when you was building your vision. Was none of these naysayers around you, hey man, when you was building your vision. And now that your house is built, let me tell you something. You better go in that house and be peaceful. You better go in that palace and kick your feet up and say, Lord, I thank you for making a way of escape for me. You better go in that house and get on them bitter knees and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I'm going to praise you for the rest of my life. Because look where you have brought me from. You better lift them holy hands up and say, Lord, I thank you because guess what? They can't blow my house down. Don't you be afraid to put in, put in the comment below and say, I see why you big man, because you cannot blow my house down. 
I mean to tell you, chosen ones, they are huffing, they are puffing, and they are waiting for you to tell about, tell, tell them about your big move so they can blow your vision down, so they can blow your house down. But let me tell you something, baby. Your house is built on, on, on other stain. God gonna allow you to stand still. God gonna allow you to win. God gonna allow you to prosper because of the simple fact, guess what? You done kept your mouth closed. We the chosen 